Hello guys, how are we all doing? And welcome to Transport Tycoon. So this has been a game that's been in development for about two years now. And it has finally released on the 8th of November, which is awesome. I have been waiting to play this game for a long, long time. Basically, it is a passenger slash freight transportation system, system game. Where, you know, you've got to transport people and goods between cities as well as factories. So we're just on a passenger transport mission, uh, one of the tutorials now, so let's jump in. A bus service is all fine and dandy, but before the bus sets off, it'll need to know where it's going. Bus lines are often used for passenger transport within a city. A few steps are necessary to set up such a line. Right, so here we go. So as you can see, uh, it is pretty much like um, Tycoon, um, you know. The city of Tycoon and Transport Tycoon Deluxe, uh, especially. Uh, as well, some city skylines, I'll take it. Where, you know, everyone or people have different destinations. Is he a car owner? You know, where's he going? How does he get there? You know, and basically, our job is to try and transport people around, obviously, the city and in between cities to make their life easier, uh, you know, I suppose. So, let's have a go at this, then, shall we? So, as you can see, down here in the bottom, we've got all our different, you know, so we've got all our different, uh, oh God, you know, you've got track, we've got road, we've got trains, we've got buses, we've got boats, we've got planes, and we've got train, we've got the bulldozer, we've obviously got the speed up time, if you click over here, this gives you the land, so here we, are. we have a residential, commerce, and industry, you know. Then if you click this, you can look at the land and how it's built. So I'll see if we wanted to go over to this farm, over here, uh, you know, this collects goods, you know. It produces grain, as well as livestock, which is very useful. And, you know, we can transport that down here if we wanted to, to make food. Which then, we've got to bring into the city, which obviously then helps the city out more. So, let's go and let's build our bus stop, or tram stop. Now, remember, they do drive on the right, so that is obviously where we're going to put it. There's a one. And if we go down to our second one, there we go. The first step has been completed. Now we need to make sure that something actually stops at the bus stop. To do this, connect the two stops with a line. Click on the line manager in the menu below and then select new line. The two stops can now be assigned to the line by clicking on the bus stop icons. Right, so, here we are, this is our line manager, so we're going to click new line. Obviously, you can color code the line, very useful, uh, later on in the game. You can hit add station. And then all you simply do is click on the bus stops, hopefully, if it wants to. There we go. So we'll add that, and we'll add that one. Next, build a depot. Depots are needed to purchase vehicles. Select the road vehicle depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Right, after he stops talking. So as you can see, it has already built a route around it for us. You know, uh, we don't get to choose the routes, it will automatically work out the route and where it is and where it's going to go automatically for you. That it can change now. From what I know, you can't add and move these. Uh, for example, if you want to add another station, if you wanted it in between these two, you couldn't, uh, you know, you couldn't just move it, you'd have to either add a station, highlight the one you want it under, add it, and then it will add it there. Or you'll have to remove one and then add it later. Effectively. So, let's go and build a bus depot, which we go in here and we go into the depots. There we go. So, as you can see, we have two depots we have a road depot and we have a tram depot. As you can see, they are different. So, there we go. If you want to rotate it, it is the M and N key. And if you want to do short rotations, or should I say smaller rotations, I believe it's shift. 
you hold shift down and then you hit M or N there you go and it does micro now if you want to attach it to the road you can do very simply which is you literally just push it up to the road and boom there you go it will automatically lock in or you can always just place it anywhere and you can add the road in yourself if you like almost there so now right you there. need to purchase a suitable vehicle click on the depot select buy road vehicle and buy a bus right so here we go obviously you just click on the building then we hit buy road vehicle as you can see we have all so you obviously have passenger or freight so here we go we can obviously look at the different buses and see which ones we fancy so I do like the look of this one and it is 78.8k but as you can see we have 100k anyway so really does not matter about that so we're gonna hit buy the bus driver is just now. raring to get started so assign the bus to the line click on the line icon in the window that has just appeared and select the line you have just created right so once you've selected it you'll also bring up the bus depot or it'll bring up the road vehicle so what you can do is select that single bus to the line or if you have multiple vehicles in the depot so say I bought two or three of these road vehicles you can select line for all of the vehicles so we'll do that very good the bus is en route to the first stop and the first residents have already heard about the new service passengers are now heading to the bus stop and are waiting for the bus to travel from their homes to work or to go shopping wait until the first passenger has traveled from the first stop to the second right so there we are so so as you can see he does so what he'll be doing now is he'll be driving up to collect our passengers. As you can see, if we wanted to, we could be around doing other stuff in the city. For example, over here, and you can still keep an eye on your bus if you, you know, if you wanted to, which is awesome. If you hit this camera, you can the cockpit mode, which basically shows you uh, cockpit mode. Basically, in front of the bus and the bus game. As you can see, he's now stuck in traffic. There we are. And just look at the game mechanics where it actually waits and finds a space because obviously there's a lot of people, some back and motor vehicles, and so forth. But as you can see, it is heavy in traffic and your finances don't stop. So here's your finance, as you can see, he's currently costing us quite a bit of money. 1.9k to be precise. Per day, I believe, which is your running cost. Obviously, if we hit details of the vehicle, it shows all the details as well, which you can also find when you go over and you buy a road vehicle. Obviously. So our bus obviously has a capacity of 11 passengers. Top speed is 35 kilometers, which is fine, it's fast enough for this uh, city. Lifespan of 30 years, which is very good. Running cost 13.1k a year. So, you know, you could always buy another one if you wanted to. You know, you might as well. I don't see why not. So, there we go, we've got two running now. Even though you don't have to, the tutorial doesn't say you've got two, but there you go. So we're waiting for our first passenger, so what we're going to do is speed up time, just to get him across there. As you can see, traffic is very heavy around the industrial and commerce. But I have waited for this game for a while, uh, and I do really enjoy it. Uh, you know, I've been watching some people uh, and videos on it, and I, I'm glad that it's out, you know. A lot of YouTubers have had this before, right, so here we go, so let's just slow him down a bit. So as you see, hello, hello. So as you see, he has no, no one on his bus, because there's no one waiting yet. If we go over to this bus stop, as you can see there's a little person there, which means someone is waiting. Here we go, we have one person waiting for all of the bus. So, the way it works, is if you can basically give a great service 
or a frequent service, shall I say, around the city. And the game looks at that and go, right, okay, you're going to give more services. So click Local it. transport is running splendidly, so let's turn our hand to commuter transport. For this purpose, construct a railroad line between the cities. Start by building train stations. Select the passenger station from the construction menu and place one in each of the colored areas. Right, so, before he interrupts me again, like I was saying, so, you know, the more passengers or goods you can move around, then the game will realise, and then it will output more, so it will deliver you more passengers to your stops, it will deliver more goods to everywhere else, you know. So, let's go and build a station down here. Now, as you can see, now there is a catchment area, as you can see. So, that catches only that, whereas if I were to go and put it down here, it'll catch more. Now, this is very good if you bring up your land use, because you can see where your residential is. And, effectively, you can get a good catchment area. But, at the moment, Territorial wants us to put it down here, which is alright, because all we'll do is bring a bus stop to it effectively so there we go we'll drop that in here and you should know me by now I like things straight so my OCD goes off sometimes so there we go we'll plop that in there and we'll go over here and do the same over here now as you can see you can change this so you can obviously change the number of tracks if you wanted to that's a big station you can also change the length of the station. That's a massive station. Uh, you can also change whether it's standard or high speed as well, which is also very useful later on in the game because obviously you know some tracks will need to be faster than others. And you can add everything else if you wanted to. So boom. Now that the local transit is working well, it's time to turn our attention to commuter travel to the next city. Let's lay some tracks. Select the track from the construction menu and connect the two train stations. Right, so effectively all you do is left click and hold down and as you can see the, the speed and as I gradually turn to a corner you can see obviously how the, how the uh, speed increases until it goes to its minimum which is 45. So there we are, so obviously we want it as fast as possible. So, now, we do want it straight, or level, shall I say. There we go. So we're just going to move that across, and there we are. Not too fussed about money at the moment. So you obviously can change the bridge type as well if you like. Oh, I like that bridge. Anyway, we'll keep it in that one. Come on. There we are. And now, obviously, as you can see, because I placed this in the wrong way, in the wrong way, in the wrong part. You're not going to like that. Okay. I'll get rid of that. What do you want? Go away. There we are. You can also hit the B key, which will give us our bulldozer. So you're going to go around there, unfortunately. Let's set up a line whose very name will bring tears to the eyes of commuters. Tears of joy on Friday evenings and tears of sorrow on Monday mornings. Setting up a train line works exactly the same as setting up a bus line. Create a line and add the passenger train stations. Now you need a train to deploy on the line. Just like road vehicles, trains are purchased at a depot. However, a depot with a rail connection is required. Select the train depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Right, so as you can see, all I hit was new line and then I created a new line, effectively. So there we go. So. We're obviously going to go down here and we're going to hit depots and we've got a train depot. So you want to make sure this is oriented the right way. Now as it's a tutorial I'm not really too fussed. Um, Time to purchase a train to swallow up all those commuters. 
Click on the depot and select buy train and buy a locomotive with at least one passenger coach. Right. So, here we go. As you can see, uh, if we go on locomotives, and these are all the locomotives that we currently can get. So as you can see, they uh, all are a bit pricey. But I'm going to go for the class A4, only because it's the fastest. And it, this is a tutorial. So yeah. But there is one thing he, he hasn't mentioned. Because once you buy this train, where's it going to go? Because it doesn't actually tell you about connecting the line. So anyway. Now this is something interesting I want to do. Because if you watch, if I do that, some people would think, oh, right, okay, never mind. You know, that's connected. It's not, because you can cross track, and that's why. So, as you can cross track, that means at a right angle. So if you bring it in and wait for it to snap, then it creates a proper join, which is what you want. So, as this is a tutorial, then we might as well just uh, do it both ways. There we are. Because it's not costing us anything, you know. Right, so there we go. So let's actually buy a train now. With one passenger car, so it said. So, we'll buy one of them. There we are. As you can see, this comes up. And we'll go and buy... Some of these. Let the journey begin. Assign the train to the line. To do so, click on the line icon. The commuters are coming. They're crowding on the platform and are waiting eagerly for the train to take them to the other city. And here she is. Look at that beauty. As she comes out. Now that is what you call a train. So there we are, that will uh, trundle along down the line. It's a shame that I can't win, but I won't. So there we are, this will start to pick up speed. Up to the line speed. Speed down to the line speed. Well. Right, Excellent. Right, so there we go. As you can see, the trains automatically change the position, which is good. Um, you know, it does solve the problem, obviously, of having to have a switch point for the trains to go So it does solve that. Unfortunately, it does have to slow down here. So it can turn on. And it's going more, obviously, because there's more passengers. So, there we are. So, effectively, as you have all of your, you know, and this, this one, by the way, is the navigation of waters, which is the tells you if boats can sail or not, which, you know, you don't have to be interested at the moment. So, anyway, there we are. So if you hit down here I, then this gives you all the information about the town, you know, for example, different you know, you can get your line information, you can get your different train information, your vehicles, how long you've had them for, if you're making a profit or not. You know? And all that information. If you hit this one, then this obviously brings up the mission window. Now as we are waiting for passengers to come, what we're going to do is add a bus stop. So we hit down here on our buses, that's a train, hit down here and we go to passenger, we can add a bus stop, there we are. So all we simply do is if we want to add it to the line, is, if we go over here, now you can do this two ways, you can go onto the bus terminal, no you can't, here you go. I think. Yeah. Like that. 
Where's your mission? There it is. Go up there. Thank you. If we go down... Here. Not that one, it's the line one. There we go, that's what I wanted, the line. So... It also shows you the frequency, so how long it is between each service. So, we want to edit this line. So there we go, we're going to hit Add Station. We're going to add that in. Now as you see, it's added it below. So, that is brilliant because it will go here to here and then it will come all the way down here and go back there, so that's good. So there we go, we've added that to the bus route now. So, what we can also do is head over here and create a line in this district, which we're going to do. So all we're going to do is add a depot. Nice and simple, the depots don't really matter where it bounce to go. And we're going to go and get a bus stop. And we're obviously going to have one at the station. Which is obviously going to catch that much. So then we're going to come over here. And we're going to have one there. And then we're going to come over here and we'll have one... Over there. And because this city is so big, we're going to have to have one down there. There we go. So we're going to make a new line. So we're going to go from here to here to here to then here. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. As you can see, because I put it on the wrong side, it is going to go in a loop. So what you can do is hit remove once we do, maybe not. Oh, there we go. We've got to highlight the one you want to remove and hit remove. So then we get our bulldozing tool and we remove that. And then if we come back to our bus stop. We can put it there, which will then obviously we'll just add to the route. And there we go, that's our line. So, we have done that now. So there we go. And we'll go and we'll buy some of these, actually. We'll buy two of these instead. So we select line. Line 3 is that one. And there we go. The buses will set off nice and swiftly. So as you can see, they decide to bring up some passengers here. Which they'll hopefully jump onto the train. There we go. He's got two passengers now, so he'll obviously go and chauffeur them down there. And there we are, guys. So, you know, we are pretty much building the cities. As you can see, our bus service is around. So we're just going to speed up time just to uh, start moving on passengers. So eventually the cities will start to grow if you basically give them everything that they need which is very very useful uh, you don't have to necessarily you don't uh, grow the cities effectively how you help them is if you can transport people and goods then essentially they will expand themselves pretty much to be fair so as you can see the running costs of running up and down if we go on the line management you can see if they're making any money as you can see the train is costing us the most at the moment but, you know, it doesn't really matter. The longer the lines... Are the we did it. Woohoo. Anyway, like I was saying, the longer the lines exist, then the more you're going to find out about the frequent services and obviously if you need more because of heavy traffic and stuff. So there we are, guys. I think I'll leave that as our first video of the mission completed the first look video shall I say of transport tycoon thank you very much for joining me guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button it really does help me out love you all people and happy transporting